There you are. Something to be delivered post-haste. That's fast, then? Yes, yes, that is fast. It concerns shipments for the next several weeks. Ah, not what he's expecting then, because he thinks you're someone. Whatever do you mean? Corypheus is able to possess Grey Wardens, or so I hear. Perhaps it's a good thing I'm not a real Warden. It's a blessing. Warden or not, I'd hate to be on the other side of your blade. Going up against a Darkspawn, and the last thing you want is a Grey Warden. 
Funny how these things happen. So I hear you're smitten with our lovely ambassador. Really? You too? Who put you up to this? Josephine is brilliant, graceful, witty. Yes, I admire her, as we all should. Dodging the question. Does it even matter? Nothing will ever come of it. Though I would appreciate it if you and the others would not speak quite so loudly about it. I think the spy master suspects. She's been glaring at me like she wants me on a mantle. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. I do not like having that mirror, Illuvian, in Skyhold. Corypheus may not be able to travel through it, but what if something else can? I don't think Morrigan would keep it here if that were true. Yes. Morrigan said as much when I asked her. Oh? She said I was unreasonable, then offered to explain how the Illuvian works using words with less than four syllables. Ah. The Circle had a library. I'm fairly well read. Right. I'm not unreasonable. Is there anything I should know? I fear letting Calpurnia go was a mistake, but no harm has yet come of it. Is there anything I should know? I believe Dagna has settled in well. She's certainly very... cheerful. Is that a bad thing? I'm concerned she'll cheerfully blow up Skyhold with one of her experiments, but the risk is small at present. Is there anything I should know? Not at present. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. How can I help? We'll talk later. Goodbye. Questions, questions. I should go. As you wish. Of course. I expected ruins. They were. As you see, the Inquisition has not been idle. Would it be possible to meet the Herald before we return to Ghislaine? My dear Laurent, for you, anything. Allow me to present Inquisitor Adar. Your worship, you do us great honor. Inquisitor, this is my dear Bastien's sister, Grand Cleric Marceline, and his son, Duke Laurent of the Council of Heralds. Madame de Fer has told us what great trials you faced, trying to save my poor brother's life. The Maker called my father to his side. It was valiant of you to champion him in his final hours. If only I'd been able to save Bastien. The Circle of Magi told Bastien many years ago that his illness was incurable. It was simply his time. Would you mind waiting for me in the chapel, my dears? The Inquisitor and I have business to discuss. It has been our very great pleasure, Harold.
This has been quite the triumph, hasn't it? They just adore you. Duke Bastien's family seem quite pleasant. Ordinarily, I would have warned you that Marceline has the temper of a hungry vulture, but she's quite taken with you. Laurent is a dear, almost as pious as his aunt, and new to a seat of great power in the Empire. And Marceline is one of the strongest voices among the Grand Clerics. Now they will both come to us for advice. The Inquisition is truly a power now, and there's no telling how far its influence will reach. But enough of this talk. Here, I have something for you. I commissioned this ring from the Formari, the greatest enchanters in all Thedas, for you. This is a generous gift. Thank you, Vivienne. Once it was customary for the Circles to craft enchantments for their staunchest friends and allies. And you have been both. I must go to see my guests now. Another time, darling. Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Carry on. Something you wanted to talk about? What can you tell me about this Corypheus? I'm not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. All right, I think that's enough about Corypheus. No problem. Morrigan seems pleased with herself for some reason. That smug face. She becomes more and more like her mother each day. Don't tell her I said that. Anything I should know? Celine has cemented power in Orlais. Good, we need an ally like her. At the moment, she's said to be rooting out the last of Gaspard's supporters. Once that is done, we will have a united Orlais behind the Inquisition. Anything I should know? Having the Templars join the Inquisition has done wonders for our reputation. The people trust the Templars, and now they trust us. I'll leave you to your work. How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. I've heard Blackwall harbors feelings for you. Leliana informed me. Blackwall is a gallant man, no matter what name he chooses. Alas, there are too many differences between us in station. It must be la splendeur des cœurs perdus. I'm not familiar with that phrase. 
It's a Norwegian term. The splendor of lost hearts. It is when a passion is known, but cannot be consummated. Even though the would-be lovers wish it with all their yearning. Looks may be exchanged. A small token may be left for one to find. But that is all that can ever be. Are those flowers on your desk a gift, then? A courier delivered them. A fresh batch comes every week. They're only found on the steepest slopes above Skyhold. Leliana tells me every week, early in the morning, Blackwall slips out and hikes to where they grow. There's some appeal to that yearning. Not just appeal. An acknowledgement. In La Splendeur de Coeur Perdu, love is respected, but known. The ardor is bittersweet, but named. It lets many retain dignity that would otherwise be flung to the wind. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You've already met Grand Cleric Marceline. Lady Vivienne helped arrange the visit. The timing is most curious. Why? Word has circulated that Grand Cleric Marceline will be instrumental in choosing our next divine. What are Lady Vivienne's intentions, I wonder? Is there anything you need? Do you have any advice for me? Find Corypheus. If he vanishes, he will only rebuild his power and come at us again. And he will come. Whatever mad play the Magister has in mind, you star as his nemesis. I shudder to think what a creature like that could concoct next, given the time. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Most of the charges are still at the Temple of Mythal. I missed a crazy fine. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? You sealed the main rifted adamant, but the fortress is still a mess. Demons, darkspawn, making knows what. I could take Rocky out there with some of the boys. They know how to bring down walls. We can't close rifts, but we can bury the bastards under a ton of rubble. We'll talk later. I saw him just walking free. That was a decision, and it was very well done. After what he did, I know many things. Can't wait, what's on? Save us, everyone. The nation reviles, the courses but run. Sky's pretty, even with that thing. It's got. Sky. Kid, says the stone. Kid, kidding. It would keep me kept with a name, but the cairn can't catch me. So, Cole. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. Let's talk about something else. All right. I'll talk to you later. Yes. That's all Inquisitor. the Inquisitor? I'm sorry. What's the current mood? Turgid. What's the word out there? Seven people want your minstrel dead. They'd settle for smashing her loot, but they're afraid she'd sing about it. As you were. 
Inquisitor. Need anything, Kadan? I'd like to talk about you and me. Sure, boss. What's up? Do you have some free time? For you? Always. To work? It all makes sense. <laughs> I now understand the nuance behind elven words. <laughs> the ancient lore reveals patterns I would never have suspected. <laughs> it is exhilarating, the rush of images. Truth dangling just out of reach. <sighs> Tell me more. Take the Alluvians. It was always assumed their use was lost after the Tevinter conquest of Arlathan. But the ancient elves had closed all paths to the crossroads long before. They warred with themselves, and the Alluvians were sealed to prevent an enemy from using them to attack. So much is m misunderstood. It will take years to absorb, if I get the chance. I'm pleased I could give you that, at least. <laughs> and pleased I am to have the chance, believe me. Uh, none of which has anything to do with why I asked you here, of course. Earlier, I said there was a way to match the power of Corypheus, Inquisitor, and there is. We must summon Mathal. Didn't you say that Mithal was long dead? Or a myth? Whatever Mithal was, goddess, myth, or ancient being, the voices of the well say a part of her power lingers on. How or in what form, I cannot say, but that power is exactly what we need. I must go to an altar in the wilderness to perform the summoning, and you must be with me. You don't need me for some ritual sacrifice, I hope. The altar could have a guardian or other surprises. Thus, your company would be best. Imagine what we will learn, Inquisitor. Some would give their lives to unearth secrets such as this. The altar awaits our visit, Inquisitor. 
Everything I have done since leaving Ferelden has led me to this. Think of all we will learn. You seem to know a great deal about elven lore. The Dalish are not the only ones interested in the distant past, Inquisitor. Indeed, my skills allow me access to places the Dalish dare not even dream of. The ancient elves hold secrets they have not yet given up. Secrets about the foundation of Thedas itself. Thus, they are my focus. Corypheus clearly feels the same. I leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. Wandering the gardens, I see. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. I leave you to the garden. As you like. This is the place? It is. Look for an altar. Ancient, but still standing. <gasps> there! Do you see it? Is all that remains of the great altar. We few who travel far call to me and I will come, without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight, let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear, a very old invocation, perfectly translated. Why, thank you. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice, but this is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared, and there was no one with whom to speak. Your companions will need to go elsewhere. Not to worry, if there is shouting, they will hear it readily enough. who I am. From high priest to high priest, I am the last to drink of sorrows. Come to us, Mithal. Whatever you are, whatever remains, I invoke your name and your power. Mother. Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? What's wrong? We have been deceived! Now, now, that's quite enough of that. 
What have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. Then you are Mithal? That's Mithal. You invoke that name so easily. I wonder if you know what it means. I do not understand. How can you be Mithal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mithal inside you? She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed. Shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. Then you're Mithal and Morrigan's mother as well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool, old woman. <laughs> Yet here you stand, bound into my service. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be, until now, it seems. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves. To everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mithal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says, long ago, you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mythal, that's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> we summoned you because we need your help. Against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Morrigan. I can help you fight Corypheus. <laughs> Do 
Do you understand, child? Yes. I think I do. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Imagine my surprise to discover it was you. And that is all. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now wish you had drunk from the well. Will you be all right? I... am uncertain. What she said is true, at least. I have the answer to your problem. I can match the Archdemon's power when the time comes. All that remains is for you to find Corypheus. Mother must be very pleased. If I see her again, I will have no choice but to do every single thing she commands. I feel certain what happened at the Temple of Mathar must somehow have been her influence. You might be right. Twas a temple dedicated to her after all. Is it a coincidence we ended up there? There must be a connection we cannot see. I suppose we have little choice but to proceed and be thankful she assisted us at all. Do you trust what Flemeth told us? About what she is? I... I am uncertain. I knew there was more to her than I realized that she was not truly human. This? I once found her grimoire, and that was where I learned her immortality was gained by stealing the bodies of her daughters. Flemeth claims I misunderstood. It is not forced on the unwilling. Meaning I might agree to such a thing? Impossible, yet there seemed an undeniable sense of truth to the things she told us. All my years spent hunting for arcane mysteries, and the greatest was the one I left behind. So what do you intend to do now? Once Corypheus is defeated, I will undoubtedly move on. Where I will go is uncertain. I must consider the fact that Flemeth may yet have plans for me. I am, after all, her servant. Such a delight. Yet we must now consider the coming battle. I hope all I learned from the well proves worthwhile. I leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. So it's done? Just about. The little ones in the camps don't have much. I thought this might cheer them up. Even in the midst of war, they deserve to be children. It's almost time. Are you ready? I am. I've been ready for a long time. Things become clear on the battlefield. It's where I truly know myself. Everything else fades. You're content. I'm glad. I am. There has always been one constant. I am a soldier. I am trained to kill, to follow orders, and to ask no questions. But this time, I'm fighting for something I believe in. The people I care about. I chose to stay with the Inquisition. I chose this fight. And the difference is profound. I have only you to thank.
Everything's in place. Corypheus now waits on you to approach the Temple of Sacred Ashes. A swift journey, and good luck. <laughs>